Hello, it is currently reading week, which is this one week break that I have during second semester and you're supposed to be studying but I am back home to relax, hang out with the family during family day weekend. I feel very unproductive whenever I am here because I just I'm not in the zone, in the studying mood so I just I want to do something but I don't want to study so I'm just it's 12 a.m. and I'm folding clothes. The best thing about coming back is that I get to eat Chinese food. Yay! In the morning, I ate dim sum, and tomorrow, everyone's gonna be busy doing something. So I'm gonna work on filming a video, and then Wednesday, hopefully, I get to have sushi buffet. Yes. We are at a sushi buffet place, and we're gonna order some more stuff. We already sent our first order. Mm, do they have takoyaki? The sushi is very average. They kept playing Despacito. It's freezing rain season once again. Just finished getting some groceries from Costco. We're actually gonna go home on Thursday. So tomorrow. I have four days left until reading week ends. And now I'm heading back to school. We need to have a long one hour drive on the highway to get back to my university. So I got I got some egg salad sandwiches from TNT and the honeydew one. It's all powdery, but I love this flavor and I haven't had it in so long. Let's hit the road. Back in the dorm and all. Look at this. It's Steve Irwin in a Google Doodle. I love this guy. Look at him with the crocodiles. I finally finished my disorders assignment. I just need to make a little diagram to explain all the stuff about monkeys and stress. But today is actually such a beautiful day. See, the sun is out and it's so hot in my dorm room. I kind of want to go outside and take a walk because I've been locked in my room. Reading week is officially over and then on Monday I have to host a career night with my club and then study for my next two midterms. So I wanna go for a walk and see the outdoors. Okay, so another thing about my residence is that right behind it is a giant forest. This place is called the Arboretum. There are lots of different trails. I'm going on a boardwalk right now. It's a bit dangerous when it's the winter time, but you just have to be a bit careful. And in the summertime, this place is really beautiful. And the fall, all the leaves are so colorful. Now it's just all empty. You can see everything around you. I don't know how often people come here in the winter time but the ground is all looks like it's been walked on a lot so I'm assuming there are still people coming here for some winter walks. Also there are lots of animals here too so I'm hoping I can see something. I think one time one of my friends saw a porcupine. I've never seen a wild porcupine but I'll just look at the ground for some trails and tracks to see if any animals have passed by and also be careful not to slip on the ice. There's some trails. Looks like it's just a dog's paw. <laughs> I don't really know how to identify trail markings from animals. I've never learned it. But here's some trails too. I don't know what that could be. It looks like a smaller dog. Lots of people bring their dogs here to go on walks. That one looks like it could be a rabbit or a squirrel. 
It's so nice to be here all alone and so quiet. Every sound I hear, it's just a branch probably falling. I keep looking out to see if there's anybody here. Nope, I think I'm the only one in the forest. It's so pretty. I need to come here more often. Slippery, slippery. I brought a snack because it's close to dinner time. I think it's getting dark soon. I better hurry. Oh, I've never been here before. I've never seen this open field. Why do I have a feeling this is a pond? I really hope this isn't a pond. Otherwise, I'm stepping on some dangerous ground. I think it's good. There's lots of people who walked over this. Nature! You know, now that I look at the trees and how some of them are just stuck in the ground, maybe this is a body of water that I am standing on. I just have a feeling this was a pond. I don't know. I might be completely wrong. Cause see, look, like, look at that tree. That thing looks like it's underwater. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna walk very fast away. Oh my god. Wait, it is water. I see water. I'm standing on a pond. Let's go back. I'm scared. I don't want to drown in icy water. That tree over there? You can see there's water under it. Yep, yep, yep. Leaving this dangerous place. That's the trail I just came out of. Now I'm on the main trail back to the road that takes me back to residence. And you can see some art sculptures there too. In the summer a lot of people come here just to lie on the grass and study. Well that's the Arboretum. Thanks for joining me on this lonely cold walk. It was really fun actually. I like coming here alone and being just totally silent with nature. Maybe I'll come back when it gets warmer. But for now, let's go back and eat some dinner. Terrible. Oh no. My printer is out of black toner, which means I can't print anything from this dumb laser printer unless I go and get some black toner to replace. And I have an assignment due tomorrow. I just need to print one more page, but uh, now I only have two out of the three pages. So I, I mean, I could go to the library, but I need to use this printer every day to print my notes. So, I guess we will have to go to Best Buy. So I went to Best Buy and I was gonna get some toner for my printer that isn't working, but I didn't realize that they closed at five. I thought they closed at six. So by the time I got there, they already closed. And the closest thing to me was Walmart and I checked there too. They didn't have any toner for my specific printer. So I got some chips because I was sad and it was so windy and cold I went all the way there for nothing at least I got some chips which I haven't had in a long time so that's it for my reading week I didn't really do much other than relax which is good it kind of re-energizes me for the midterms that will be coming up soon so next week I will just be studying and hopefully I can get my printer to work but for now, I'll just go to the library to print all of my notes. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next week. Bye.